for carbon steel frying pan. My wife got me this for Christmas. The carbon steel is a different material than stainless steel. This will rust. It's a little fussier than a normal pan. But today we're going to get this thing seasoned, use it for the first time, cook up some hamburgers and see if all the hype is true. Does this really provide a better sear and better browning than a regular pan? Or will my good old frying pan that I've used for years still do the trick? Let's get started. First, I'll give the pan a quick wash. Now to get started, we're going to need four potatoes, a couple of measuring cups, some oil, some salt, and a wife who doesn't mind me messing up the kitchen. And notice starting out, there's not much golden or dark color on this skillet yet. Let's go ahead and get it cooking on the stove. We're going to need to add one third cup of oil, two thirds of a cup of salt, and the skins of two potatoes. For the initial seasoning, the potato skins and salt are to help remove any leftover manufacturing residue. These steps aren't necessary in future seasonings. So it's been 15 minutes, and to me this kind of looks like a big old mess. And what I'm thinking about doing is just quitting right now and letting my wife clean this up. No, no, no. So you can see the pan is smoking just a little bit. Everything's turned brown, and we're getting a lot of color. So I'm going to clean this out, and the instructions say to repeat the process. As you can see, after two rounds of seasoning, the pan has completely changed color. Now it's a darker, more golden brown. And they say the longer you use these pans, the better the seasoning will become, the darker they'll get. Now I notice I got a couple of spots here that aren't quite as seasoned as the other spots, but I think after I use it for a while, it should be just fine. Now what I want to do, since I have this pan seasoned, I want to put it up against my cast iron skillet. Make some potatoes. We'll see which one uh, does a better job of browning. So amazingly, or perhaps not, we put potatoes in hot oil in both the uh, cast iron skillet and the carbon steel skillet. And guess what? We've got nice crunchy brown dried potatoes from the iron skillet and also from the carbon steel skillet. Now here's the map for carbon steel pan. We've seasoned it twice according to the instructions. I just got done making a batch of fried potatoes in it. it did very well on that. The last thing I want to do while the pan's still hot is I want to fry an egg in it. A little hard healthy butter. Pretty good so far. Got great browning on burgers, bacon fried perfectly, and look at these potatoes slide around, no sticking whatsoever. Now is a carbon steel skillet better than a good old iron skillet? I don't know, they both seem pretty darn good, and if you got the space in your kitchen, why not have both? Well here's my Matford carbon steel frying pan after a couple of months of heavy usage. I have to say that this has become my go-to pan. 
I use this more than my iron skillet, more than my all clad copper core stainless steel pan. It is a true workhorse. The nonstick surface is incredible. It does an excellent job at browning meat. And it's really lighter and easier to use than my uh, iron skillet. Now I have to give full credit to the French. This is truly an excellent skillet. And I think it has a place in any serious home chef's kitchen. And I have to give my wife credit because as Christmas presents go, I've used this one a heck of a lot more and enjoyed it a heck of a lot more than the socks she got me last year. And with that, we come to the end of the episode. Hope you enjoyed the show. Check out the website or the links below for more information. Ciao, ciao, arrivederci, ciao.